This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. General Motors reported its earnings for the second quarter and the financial results are good. The automakers sold nearly 692,000 vehicles, which is up 19% compared to a year ago. However, only 15,000 of those were EVs and the majority came from the Bolt, which it's discontinuing. GM still struggles to make Altium EVs, selling a little over 1,300 Lyrics and 47 Hummer EVs. But its revenue increased by 25% to $44.7 billion. It posted a net profit of $2.6 billion, which was up a whopping 51%, and its EBIT was $3.2 billion, up 38% compared to a year ago. And thanks to those results, GM increased its full-year profit guidance, and it now expects to hit a net income of $9.3 to $10.7 billion, up from $8.4 to $9.9 billion in a previous forecast. And Chinese battery maker CATL also had a strong quarter. It posted a net profit of $1.5 billion, which is up 63% compared to a year ago. But its growth slowed from the first quarter when its net profit surged 558%. That's because CATL is facing more competition and has been losing market share to BYD. Speaking of EV batteries, the Hyundai Group just opened a new battery research center in Korea with Seoul National University and is investing $23 million by 2030 into the collaboration. A total of 22 research projects will be carried out in four divisions, including lithium metal batteries, solid state batteries, battery management systems, and battery processing technology. Hyundai believes it can cut battery costs by 75% by 2026 and another 45% by 2030. Earlier this month, it was reported Tesla is in talks with the Indian government to produce EVs in the country. And now Reuters reports that Tesla representatives will meet with India's commerce minister soon to discuss the plant and about setting up a supply chain. The factory will reportedly build a model that starts at just $24,000, which is 25% cheaper than its current least expensive model. But we don't know for sure yet if it's an all new model. But it won't be sold in just India. It will be exported to other markets as well. The Indian car market is growing fast and it's now the third largest in the world. However, EVs account for less than 2% of sales right now. The giant German supplier ZF showed off this foldable steering wheel about seven years ago, but everyone kind of laughed at it. The thinking was that it only made sense for autonomous driving, and everyone knew autonomy was years away. But ZF says a Chinese automaker is going to intro the folding steering wheel in just a couple of months. It's for drivers who are waiting in a parking lot while a family member shops, or for a baseball practice to end, So now they can watch a movie on the center screen without the steering wheel blocking part of their view. Mercedes is putting connected car technology and the sensors in its cars to good use. It's teaming up with the city of Boston in the U.S. on a pilot project that will use data generated by vehicle suspension systems to help identify infrastructure issues like potholes. City planners can then send someone out to inspect the road or they can monitor potential problem areas over time. Here's a couple of other quick notes about the project. All the data is collected anonymously from Mercedes owners that have opted into data sharing on the Mercedes Me app. There's no indication of how long the pilot will last, but Mercedes has several other similar projects going on in Europe right now. It also indicates other sensors, like those used for driver assistance systems, could provide even more data to improve city infrastructures. 
and we would think info as simple as tire pressure data would be useful as well. So it seems like there's an opportunity for anyone with a connected vehicle to get involved in a similar project. Hyundai is trying to speed up the rate at which its vehicles get a software fix that's related to a surge in thefts. It makes it sound like some dealers have been overwhelmed by the number of customers that want the fix. So Hyundai is hosting a mobile service center at RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. It reached out to roughly 37,000 owners in the area and will have a number of trained technicians on hand to complete the software upgrade, which it says should take less than an hour. The wave of thefts came after viral video showed how to easily start some Hyundai and Kia models that came without an engine immobilizer. As I said yesterday, I can talk about the Mustang GT today, so let's get into it. I drove a convertible version with the manual transmission, but without the performance pack, which means no Magna Ride suspension or Brembo brakes. Even so, the setup was well balanced, doing a good job of providing feedback while approaching the limits. It made the car feel stable and gave me confidence as a driver. But compared to the lighter EcoBoost with Magna Ride suspension and Brembo brakes, the GT that I drove felt more well suited for sport grand touring driving than for tight twisting bends. The manual is a six speed unit from Gatrag and it had a really long third gear that allowed for good power delivery from 35 to 85 miles an hour. There's also a 10 speed automatic available. The fourth gen Coyote 5 liter V8 features dual air intakes that lead into dual throttle bodies for the first time, which help it make more power 480 horsepower to be exact, or 486 with an optional active exhaust system. Now, I know this video of a colleague doing a hard launch is underwhelming, but the seat of your pants feel is really good thanks to 415 pound feet of torque. Lastly, the new Mustang is full of Easter eggs, and in spirit of talking about the V8, I'll share a couple of under hood Easter eggs that were shown to me. Under the air filter cover on the passenger side is the old famous Ford V8 logo. And on the driver's side are the different generations of V8 engine displacements. And with that, we wrap up today's show. Thank you for tuning in. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering, boost your game. And by Scheffler, we pioneer motion. At Scheffler, we pioneer motion. Electrifying mobility. Manufacturing smarter. Reducing CO2 emissions. Making energy production clean. Scheffler pioneers motion to advance how the world moves. We want to know what drives your testing. OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing. Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data.